Oh, a Ted Baker. Let's see if we can find the other one. Okay, so that one, it, it feels like a really small, <gasps> there it is. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Look at right here. Look at this. Vintage. I picked this up at the bins. I think I'm more excited about this than like the Gucci tie and all that stuff. Hey you guys, my name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and we just got to the Goodwill bins. Mama is out of the house. It has been a long couple weeks. We had Gideon's surgery, which he is doing fantastic. And thank you for everyone who is praying. And then I had an ear infection and I was out. Like I was out, my ear was like hurting so badly. I get them a couple times a year and I think I have little tiny baby ears. Um, I'm very sensitive to ear infections. But anyways, because of that, I did not list. And so this has been my worst weekend in a long time. But anyways, we just pulled up to the Goodwill bins. I have my London Fog Latte, which is like one of my favorites from Starbucks. I have not been out of the house having Starbucks by myself in a long, long time. So this is like a treat. Yay. All right, let's go in. are starting with belts of course let's see what is this one dockers coated leather top um i'll pick it up men do like to buy dockers belts i found this one right right when i walked in it's just a woven belt um it is a monday today here's the munro again i'm not going to pick those up because i still haven't sold those other two that I have. So this is still an experiment. This one looks nice. Um, yeah, so today's Monday. I don't usually come Mondays, but I can't really even tell you when I usually come just because I never am able to get out really. Sometimes I'm able to go to like the antique store and things like that with my mom and the girls. I don't see a maker, but I still think this is cool with the genuine leather and the studs. Is, there's not a lot of people here, but it, it definitely seems very picked through. It's pretty, doesn't it? This one looks, looks really pretty. No maker, but it's like a fringe tie belt with like embroidery on it with suede. So pretty. Love that. And the belts here are like, I don't know, less than 50 cents a piece for me. So I do like picking up belts, um, even if they're not branded. And then I do like picking up wallets more than purses, to be honest, just because <laughs> easier to list, easier to store and take measurements. Ooh, here's a nice thick, ooh, this one looks damaged. That looks really neat. What is this? So Steve Madden, but it's really thick leather. I'm wondering if I could fix that. Maybe not. It's probably why it's still here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna leave that, but that one's pretty cool. I also like that <laughs> getting belts because um, not a ton of people pick up belts. A lot of people go into the um, bag, I'm sorry, yeah, the bag section for bags. This one is splitting. Okay. Don't see a lot of belts. A 
Warren, Ralph Warren. That one's a hot mess. Here is a woven belt that is broken. a vintage purse. It's very damaged on the side, but look at how cool this is. Huh. That would be super cute if it wasn't damaged. There's a boot. Pretty purse, fully beaded. Let's see. This one says Wahlberg made. Let's see. It's missing the chain, but I can get a chain. Like I can literally pull it off uh, purses and put one on. I'm gonna look this one up. The beads look to be in pretty good shape. There's some missing right there. I'm gonna see if Wahlberg is a good brand to sell. So this is a first Harley Davidson purse with all these charms. The purse is ter in terrible shape and even the charms themselves are in rough shape. If these were in better shape, I would just take off that keychain and sell it, you know, for like 15 bucks. <laughs> but everything looks to be um, in really rough, rough shape. Ooh, this one's fun, super fun. Look at this. Very boho. I think this one's super cute. I'm gonna see what this is. So you couldn't find a brand on this, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, if I can't Google Lens this and find something, I'll just use, like, use it, honestly. This one is a vintage like faux tool leather, vintage Amica. But I think that this orange pop is pretty cool. And look what was sitting right in the bins. It's like a carved arrowhead with all these little dangles. So it's like a multi-strand necklace. No brand, but super neat. Um, that's gonna be like a few cents at the bins. And you know me, I love uh, finding jewelry at the bins. So I'm probably gonna do better at finding like belts and things in <laughs> areas like this because people pick through them and um, like, let's see, there's a purse here. I find like purses, belts, hats, things like that in the clothes very regularly and hard goods um, because they were misplaced. Look at this, that's interesting. Um, so I will, I do have time today. Usually I have like 30 minutes to go in the bins and look at stuff, ooh, like this. Yes, all day, yes, yes, yes. Look at this, I love selling chain belts. Doesn't have, oh, yep, maybe the Limited. What is it? Nine West, okay, we're gonna grab that, that is exciting. Yay, okay. I'm gonna keep looking through here, see if there's anything else. Comfort zone, super dirty. Yeah, so it's really quiet, relaxed in here right now. I think it's like, I don't know, four o'clock. Ooh, here's a wool hat. Cute. Let's see. 100% wool target. But I think it's really cute. I might grab this for me or my girls. My kids have giant heads. They have you know, over 99th percentile for heads and everything like that. Like height, over 99th percentile. And then Gideon, my boy, he actually is in, or I guess 
He's over in the 99th percentile for head, but his head is so big that we had to get an MRI <laughs> scan done for his head just because it was getting to be out of the range where they were comfortable just monitoring it. And everything's fine. <laughs> My kids just have really big heads, so. All right. I think those are all the treasures from this bin. The uh, shoes are up there, so I think we're gonna head over there. Okay, I stopped digging once I saw boxes because last time there was actually jewelry. Nothing. Let's see what this one is. What is this one? No left turn. What in the world? <laughs> okay. That's, it, oh, look at these buttons. I kind of want to just take these buttons off. These look like high quality clip on earrings, don't they? <gasps> like the whole thing. Oh, this is genuine fur. What is this? I am not a clothing person, but this looks super fancy. Like I want to save this. And look at, my mom would love this little um, closure because it is um, cord wrapped. See that? Really nice. These buttons are really, really cool. Love that. I'm, I hope someone res rescues that before it gets tossed into the landfill, especially that it was um, an animal, their genuine fur. All right, let's see. There's some weird stuff in, the, in this one. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be super lucky in shoes today because they look really picked over. Here's like a rose gold Skechers. I sold that kind several times. Um, oh, a ring, a plastic ring. Uh, yeah, these are super picked over. Top Moda. Here's some Coach. And they do have a lot of logo stuff going on, which is good. But these are very dirty, and I do not want to clean those. I think a lot of people don't want to clean those. What are these? These look like nicer quality. What are you? These kind of look like Kohan. R, no, PK? Is that... I'm going to look these up. So they had their last rotation, but I think it's yeah. close, um, and they announced it. So I had to move out of the way, <laughs> so I'll just show you what I found while, while I was out of the way. This is a Dockers Newsboys cap. I like selling Newsboys cap, and then there's black. Here are some Lucky Brand suede mauve um, sneakers. We have some aerosols. Um, this one in a clothing bin. So these are some born sandals. I've sold this kind, the style before, I think in brown. Looking for the pair for this one, I found these Cole Haan pink Nubuck sneakers. And then these vintage boots, yay! These are some lace up. Um, and let's see what they say on the inside. I found this coach bag. Um, and then there's the creed right here. The zipper I don't think is working. Yeah, it's broken. So we're gonna put that one back. I'm looking for this other torrid shoe, this dance go. And I found this really cute gap jacket for my daughter. It has ruffles, it's a gap kids, and it is so sweet. So we're gonna get that one. There are these, these are kind of cute. Bum equipment huh they're they're cute they're like little sneaker shoes but <gasps> what Stuart Weitzman is just waiting for me what these are cap hair Stuart Weitzman <gasps> what how is this 
How are they just sitting here? Okay, what size are these? These are an eight. Um, and then there's just a little bit of damage right there, right there. Um, we're getting those still. I'm excited for that. Stuart Weitzman sometimes doesn't do super well, but I think if it's like a newer, trendier style, it kind of does really well. So I'm excited for those. Uh, yeah, it's getting closer to the end day. These feel like a bigger size. Let's see if they are. So Rampage, these are a 10. Not, not big enough where I wouldn't care about the quality. Okay, this one, what does this say? Alpine Swiss. Um, I don't know, those are a little too worn to look up. Sam Edelman. Dolce by Mojo Moxie. Where's the other one? Here it is. Okay, these are like a purple. And this is a diffusion of Mojo Moxie, which I love picking up. A little bit cheaper quality, but still good sellers. So, yay. Here's some murals. They have really good tread on them, but they have lost some of their color. Oh, there's missing insoles. Eh, I kind of don't want to deal with that right now. Some days I'm, I'm okay with it, and some days I just don't want to deal with it. If I have to clean them and they don't have insoles, I just don't want to deal with it. Here's some aerosols. These feel like really nice quality. Ah, nope, not gonna get them. These are Kenneth Cole with like a hidden wedge in there. Um, as you can see, they're really nice quality, but they are a little bit more damaged than I would like. So we're gonna leave those. What are these? Aldo. Oh, a Ted Baker. Let's see if we can find the other one. Okay, so that one, it, it feels like a really small, <gasps> there it is, ah, oh, Ted Baker. It feels like a really small size, but I don't find Ted Baker shoes that often. Let's see, if it says the size anywhere, <laughs> it feels like a size six. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. We're at the end. Um, this one, Naturalizer, which is not a brand I normally pick up, but I've sold this style several times. I think it's a cute like penny loafer. I've actually had some of these myself and they're comfortable. So I'm gonna get those. This is by the brand Atrix. 
A-E-T-R-E-X, which this brand retails really high. This feels like really, ooh, really nice quality. I don't want shoes falling in my tea. <laughs> um, and it, it takes a bit to sell, but it does sell. So there we go. I'll show you the brand right there, Atrix. This one's on the ground and huh, these I am getting because they look like a hot mess but I am going to try to like post a before and after on Instagram possibly if I use some saddle soap and some like conditioner and stuff I like these because they have like this saddle look to them and then um, they're blue like I don't know navy ish not navy they're blue and then like a taupey gray Cole Haan, which is a good brand and these these look like nicer quality um, they were probably donated because they have all these spots which are dirt spots I did check to make sure they're not like bleach stains or anything so I can just scrub these up I'm still looking for this one and this one but now I guess I'm just gonna look in the bins to see what I can find. Okay. <clears throat> Look at right here. Look at this. Vintage Gucci. Good thing I was looking for um, I was looking for ties for my husband and I found the Gucci tie. So Yay! I also found some other things I'm going to show you guys later. I'm actually finding like scarves and things like that. Well, coats and things for my kids. We live in Wisconsin. Look at this needlepoint pillow. Gorgeous. Love that. So if, if this isn't worth much, I'm going to keep it because I love that look. I got a hot dog costume for Pemberley, my three-year-old. She is... Um, she's my funny one, so she would absolutely love that. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of peeking what they have in the clothes. I feel like they've actually most, let me show you, most of the bins now here is actually clothes. Um, should I just stay in the tie section? Look at this. I saw this made in France. I was like, oh, I like that. And yeah. All right, we are back home. Um, I'm just gonna show you some of the things that uh, I picked up that you guys didn't see yet. So I do like selling hats occasionally. Here is a hat and this one is Roland Garros. Don't even know. I, I just did a quick re, like search on um, eBay and like some, not this particular hat, but just this name on hats was showing pretty good comps. It even says um, it on the little metal part and it's pink. It has thick embroidery. I don't really know. It's not like a vintage hat. It says um, Roland Garros Paris. So... I don't know if that's a car. I don't know if it's a race car driver. I don't know if it's a football player. We'll see. I didn't look too much into it. So there is that one. For like 20 cents, I can take a little bit of a chance. We have this. I did look this up. This could potentially go for like 35, 40, but 40 dollars with this like needlepoint and it has very brightly colored fruit. I think that this is gorgeous. There's some um Oh, and the back is like velvety. Uh, so I might want to keep it. I might want to sell it. But for, you know, a dollar, maybe a dollar and a half at the bins, this is a really good pickup. I'm not usually a hard good seller, but um, I might sell that one. All right. I'm going to show you guys some of these things in here. You guys saw start with some of the best things here the ties I don't know some like I don't know what happened someone must have like donated their vintage designer ties 
ties do not really sell well on eBay. I don't even know if vintage designer ties do well, but I cannot leave Hermes, Gucci, YSL, I cannot leave those behind. So we have this Hermes um, tie. Oh, if I can ever get my hands on one of those Hermes bangles where it's very maximalist with um, all those characters on it, I would love that. But here is what this logo looks like with the horse and carriage made in France. So we have that one. We have this one is also Hermes. It is a yellow and blue. There we go. We have... So I started picking some other ones up there because I was like, okay, there's a lot of designer ones here. We'll, we'll just take a chance on some of them. This one I might have gotten for my husband, but um, this one is Lauren, Ralph Lauren. We have this one. What did this one say? Oh, this one says Charles T Tyrewit, T-R something something. I don't know. Charles Tyrewit. Um, we have another Hermes right here, blue, it says right there, the Hermes right there, um, we have the YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, we have, what's this one, oh, another of the... Charles, whatever his name is, and then another yellow one. This was the, let's see what this one is. Okay, Bert Pulitzer, Marshall Fields, don't even know, but I mean, these are like five, ten cents at the bins, so I just started grabbing ties, and we'll look them up later. Um, I got this little bow tie because it is new with tags and this John Henry I guess is like a vintage brand it's like a silk bow tie I can just see this um, selling maybe on um, uh, Etsy <laughs> but yeah it says all silk cute little vintage bow tie got that one all right, let me show you. Oh, I did get a suspender. I love selling suspenders. This one is Cass Germany. Love that. And I love that it's a button suspender with the leather. I I think all my button suspenders are sold. I have one price a little high. That one hasn't sold yet. But my button suspenders sell pretty quickly. We have this funky belt. I do not think it's leather. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not leather. But it is so weird. So it has this really pretty buckle and it has like a little pouch. I don't know what I'm looking at and then like a long chain. So yeah. I don't know. Funky, funky thing sell. So I grabbed that one. We have this Land's End belt. I grabbed this one because it's that burgundy oxblood color which is pretty popular. We got this one, which is Echo. Also, Echo makes scarfs, scarves that I like to sell. It is just a like a cord and leather woven together with leather details on the top and the bottom. You guys saw the hats. You guys saw this first Gucci vintage tie, right? Um, so I think my friend Alyssa was asking me, like, how do you know um, if it's fake or not? Well, obviously quality, things like that. But a lot of times vintage stuff was not faked that often. So um, if it says, like, Burberry's instead of Burberry and it's vintage, that's okay because it used to be called Burberry's. So I can double check, look into this, uh, double check to make sure the tags look the same and things like that. Um, but other than that, yeah. Otherwise, if you're like really worried and it, it, is a, it is a fairly expensive piece, like in the hundreds of dollars, 
um, there are different websites you can go to to get things authenticated. I have just done that through um, like Poshmark. <laughs> Honestly, like if something sells, it goes through the Poshmark, whatever. But that was only for a ring that I had sold. And um, I knew it was real because we bought it from the store. And it was a brand. It's actually this brand um, that I'm wearing right now. I was married before. And it's a whole story. It would be like an entire YouTube video worth of a story of me selling my last wedding ring on Poshmark. Whole story. But I sold it on Poshmark because they do have that verification authenticity authenticity verification program but that is a another video it is like a whole thing okay so I found these I don't know if they're worth anything but these were um, in with some Tory Bird shoes and Polo Ralph Lauren so I think this person really liked um, designer things so we have two what seems to be, be vintage glasses cases so I picked these up because they are lightweight. I'm going to tell you right now. I paid like $87 for everything. And because it was the end of the day. I didn't have to sort through like. Different weight for belts. Different weight for shoes. Different weight for hard goods. All that stuff. She was just like put the card on the scale. And she weighed it. And she was like $87. And I was like. Okay sometimes that's what happens. And I guess we're not supposed to tell people. That that's what some of the employee employees do. But yeah. Okay. So one that I wanted to show you. I don't even know what I'm going to list it at. You guys saw me pick it up at the bins. But I took pictures of it. I haven't listed it yet. But it looks so good on the picture. I will put it up somewhere. It is this necklace. Here we go. It is a choker necklace. And this appears to be well it is genuine stone but it's like an arrowhead with copper on the top these are just enamel beads took a picture on google lens couldn't find it um but yeah super super neat i think i'm gonna price it high and then keep it and wear it <laughs> and then if it sells it sells um kind of want to see so it would go like this look at that Isn't that really, really, really neat? It's like a double choker deal. I picked this up at the bins. I think I'm more excited about this than like the Gucci tie and all that stuff because this is pretty neat. And um, I'm going to be wearing this because it is so neat. And if it was a real genuine arrowhead, that's super cool. Um, living in Wisconsin, we have arrowheads like in the soil and the dirt and um, when my grandpa was building his on his land you dig up and there would be arrowheads all over his land um, and it's like a little bit south of Milwaukee is where he built his house so and then like my grandfather on the other side my mom's side used to hunt with Native Americans up in like their land and they used to teach him and so yeah I think that that would be super neat if that was like a genuine arrowhead artifact but I don't know but it is genuine stone so if you guys know anything more about that let me know um but I'm definitely going to be pricing it at at least $50 at least so there's that I'm just gonna show you guys I got this whole tote which I'm not gonna show you all the things in here but it's a it's a tote full of snow pants and coats and things like that because Wisconsin. Right? I got this Orvis flannel for my husband because he is a man. <laughs> a manly man. So we have some of those. Ugh, some of those things. Okay, so I found this, which is like I don't know. I don't think this is a lap blanket. I don't know if it's a scarf. I don't know what it is. Maybe it is a lap blanket or a scarf or a blanket scarf or something. But it is by the brand. Let's see if we can find it. 
field gear so field gear home right there and it says alpaca and wool so this should do pretty decent I'm thinking like 25 30 I haven't looked at comps yet but um, really really nice shape no holes or anything like that not going to be washing this like that this would felt and shrink and all the things so this is something like natural fibers and things like that they keep really nicely as long as you don't spill on anything um, because they were made from like animals hair fur that kept the animal clean and um, heated or cooled so that's why when you have natural like wool and sheepskin and all that stuff inside your shoes like they will tend to not be stinky and sweaty and like all the germs and all that stuff so there's that I got some pajama pants for myself it just says Anthony new with tags and very boho <laughs> so these are just gonna be some pajama pants for me never go wrong with some like one dollar new tag pajama pants oh you guys I got this for myself it is vintage but it's like a kimono kind of like a duster and it does have shoulder pads in it which I don't know I might wear it with shoulder pads but I love I love love kimonos I kind of like that like art to wear look with the long tunics and the leggings and like uh, kimonos and stuff like that I'm actually wearing a duster cardigan right now and I absolutely love this print with the black background and the pink the light pink and the black love it um, and then I got this for my my girls when they get um, a little bit bigger let's see if there's a brand I don't see a brand but look at how adorable it's velvet and these cutouts on the sleeves I'm not a clothing person so I don't know how to describe that to you all right I got this um, I do sell scarves every once in a while this is a gap scarf with all these different colors on it I've sold several Gap scarves before and let's see it just says 70% lamb's wool 20% angora and then 10% nylon so those are some good fibers good fiber blend and really cute rainbowy polka dots so we got that one I picked this one up in a clothes bin so here we go I actually picked this one up in the same bin as these like caterpillar boots I'm gonna show you guys um, but look at how pretty this clutch is with this um, big lucite swirled lucite clasp right here this is actually new with tags so it's actually from TJ Maxx but it has the original tag right there And the MSRP on this is $295. <laughs> it still has the um, um, tissue in here. And the brand is Tracy Reese. Not a brand that I've heard a lot about. But at TJ Maxx it was $89.99. So I'm going to take off that TJ Maxx tag and maybe I will price it for like $70.90 I don't know but this was pretty exciting uh, and it's like a really pretty chartreuse screen maybe with a crinkly leather and obviously excellent shape so <laughs> this was the tote bag that was filled with the Gucci eyeglasses and then these Tory Burch flats which were kind of trashed a little bit yeah like they just were but it had a lot of things in there like Ralph Lauren and things like that and so I was like I'll just look up this bag because it has like that hunter green color with the um, leather brown leather accents and so I was like maybe this polo Ralph Lauren might be something and come turn um 
come to find out that these actually are selling for a pretty, pretty decent profit. And this isn't too heavy. I would say less than three pounds. So yeah, like less than three dollars for that guy. I got these Seychelle flats. These are actually really cute. I really like this minimalist look to them. They are suede. Are these brand new? These are like new. These are, again were in the clothes um, area and these kind of look like minimalist legging look suede and look at the detail on the heel so cute and these are new I didn't even realize eight and a half so cute oh and that's where I stuck my receipt so I actually I said I paid $87 I actually paid $89.40 so I was a couple dollars off but still amazing 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 I'm gonna make like 10 times profit on that I'm so happy with my costs whenever I go to the bins. We have these um, just classic clogs. These are not Clark's, but these are by the brand Earth Origins, which sometimes I pick up. I actually just sold some sandals by Earth Origins this past week. And there we go. It says Earth Origins on the bottom. They're just some black clogs. And again, $21.99 is usually what I would list them at. Okay, we have this one. Um, this one was, I think, in the hard goods or the clothes. So, yes, and it even has it on the little chain right here. This is by the brand Brahman, B-R-A-H-M-A-N. And this is a really good purse bag wallet brand um it is known to have some higher quality leather materials like this croc print alligator croc and then it is brown and black it says brahmin right here the issue with this is that the inside is dirty right here it's like a velvet or a velour and I feel like it needs a good wiping but this is still a really great ba bag it has the um what are these studs stud things on the bottom uh and I have not checked the, all the pockets but I might get lucky this person might have had a lot of money so I'm feeling crumbs. I kind of want to stop checking. Okay. So anyways, this is definitely a bolo brand. Look out for this brand and I hope I can clean this. So yay. Okay. Oh, so even with purchasing these monstrous boots, I got two pairs of these kinds of boots. These are steel toe caterpillar boots. A lot of people don't pick these up at the bins because they weigh five pounds, but that's like five dollars. So I think a lot of people don't pick things up at the bins because their like mind is playing games like, oh, I could get five pairs of shoes for the same price of just one. But that's why I pick them up. Um, yes, steel toe. These are work man's boots. I will put up comps on the screen for these caterpillar. It should say give you more information like on the tongue or somewhere inside let's see so it says a s t m f two four one three eleven so basically people know what all that means there's a lot of different numbers and things like that basically it has to do with like if it's oil resistant if it's if it conducts electricity slip resistant steel toe like there's all these different things that have to do <laughs> with like work boots so if you can find the style um, to these then like certain people are looking for a certain style and because these are steel toe they should do a little bit better than just a regular pair of work boots so we have these which are let's see
I'm looking for the size. Okay, so these are a size 12, which is pretty good. And there's a lot of different numbers in here, probably for the style. And then we have more Timberland Pro again. Um, and these are also a size 12. So, yeah. And they're in pretty decent shape. These actually look a little bit different um, than the other ones. Oil resistant, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So there is, there is those. Okay. We have these that I picked up. These might be a little bit outdated of a style with the bicycle toe. That's what these two lines are down the front is called a bicycle toe with this two two stitching two places for stitching right there but then it also has this monk strap which is where it is a strap with a buckle right there this, these are by the brand allen edmonds which i do pretty decently with and this is the style concord so Usually Allen Edmonds will have the style name right there, in there, size 11, Concord, and then you could just look it up on eBay um, from there. Alright, we have aerosols. I've actually sold this style a couple times already. Aerosols, stitch and turn, and then usually aerosols somewhere. We'll also say the style name, wherever that is. Oh, Solitaire. So these are a seven and a half, and the style name is Solitaire, and these are like a denim zebra. And if you guys are new to my channel, welcome, subscribe, all the things. Um, but if you're new, I love selling aerosols because I pick them up for really cheap at the bins for less than two dollars and then I usually sell them for like $19.99 on eBay and it is just easy and consistent for me. Alright the last thing I'm going to show you are some hats. We have a free people hat I might keep for myself because I don't even know where a free people store is by me. I've never been, but I'm sure I would love it because like I that's totally like the boho feminine vibe that I like, but I don't find free people that often and I don't even know where a free people store is near me. So there's that. And then we have this hat that I picked up. It is by the brand Betmar, B-E-T-M-A-R, has this like shabby chic flower situation going on. I'm not sure if this is a cloche style where it like comes down a little bit. My head is kind of big but um see how it like comes down a little bit. Actually it does fit me. Huh interesting. Okay we're wearing it for the last few minutes. Okay so Betmar I feel like I've sold that brand before and then we have this one is by the brand the Hats Company by Filippo Catarzi, made in Italy. That's why I picked it up because it says made in Italy. And uh, picking it up at the bins for like, I don't know, 50 cents or less, I am totally fine with um, taking those chances. I feel like I take a lot of risks at the bins and then I'm able to tell you guys in my what souls like, do pick this up or don't pick this up because I take a lot of risks when it comes to going to the bins. All right, this hat is super cute on me now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you liked this video and more like it. I do regular thrift with me's, binge trips, antique store trips, and then what's sold over the weekend and unboxings. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys are out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. Bye guys.